Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel. And hello, if you are new here, if you are new here, and let's say thrifting and all things Halloween and spooky season is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because officially right now with this video, we are going to be kicking off some Halloween content over here on your girl Annie's channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some online Halloween decor hunting. We do have a code orange in May, insanity, but <laughs> I love it. We're getting Halloween decor hunting season started early. However, I don't feel like leaving my house. So online, we're gonna be checking up things at Joann's online. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, so again, I have my laptop here in my lap. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my screen for the items. Periodically, I'm not sure how I'm gonna make the video work, but you'll see me talk here, you'll see the screen. You're gonna be able to follow along just clearly. But if you see my face and I'm looking down, I'm looking at my laptop. Okay, so this is how you know Joann's uh, is not duping us like Michael's did because you can go to their new arrivals and that's where you're gonna find the Halloween. Ready? So we did new arrivals. Halloween, look, 63 new things for Halloween. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Okay, the first thing that I see here is this little moth container. I love it. I think this would be super cute literally anywhere. A coffee table with some vintage looking books, candlesticks, absolutely. Love this piece. It's $11.99 on sale, so that's great. Things are already on sale. So I love that piece. Next item is the glass smoky coffin container. So many uses for that piece. It's gorgeous. And I love that Joann's is giving us something a little different. We see these all the time at Michael's, but this has like that smoky, like vintage-y effect. Really into it. Snake, okay. This orb thing, light up. I I'm personally, I'm not a fan of the light up things. So I don't love that. But again, if that's your vibe, cool. Then we have this like celestial looking thing with the moons and the iridescent colors. It's really pretty for a baby's room, honestly. Like if you're doing like some sort of like space theme or like moon theme for like a little girl, I think this little mobile, this one right here um, would be really cute. All right, now we're moving on into some black pieces. I don't love color. I think I'm allergic to color. Please ignore all of the color around me. Uh, but I like the more muted stuff and purple is just not for me. So black, metallics, things like that I can work with. So. We have this little seven inch black ceramic evil eye cauldron. It's cute. It's nice. It's nothing to write home about, but it's Halloween and I love it. And I think I already mentioned this, but this is how you know Joann's is not trying to scam us like Michael's did. This is truly a Halloween collection that we're getting in May. Joann's is killing it already. This Zodiac etched plate, I love it. I think it'd be really cool to use on a coffee table as like a sort of tray to put like candles, a floral vase, something like that, just to add a little bit more interest. You can switch it out for spooky season, all that good stuff. The next two items are things from last year. We all know Jade had these for her baby shower and this folding tarot thing. I remember seeing last year, maybe they switched the artwork on it. I can't remember, but I know we saw that last year. Okay, I don't hate this Halloween iron moth. I don't like purple, but if you also don't like purple like me, you could paint it. Really cute. Love the candle. I love a candle. Oh, it's just a container. Excuse me, I misspoke. The irides iridescent glass container. I really like that. I think it's really cute. And if you have the ability, you could put some black candle wax in there, make your own candle, a black one. Ooh, yes, I love it. This skull crescent moon thing is not my favorite, but I do like it. I like that they gave us something other than just a crescent moon container. They added a little something on there, which I appreciate. Some celestial mirror thing, um, really cool. If you have like a little tarot themed area in your home, I think this is really pretty. And again, everything's already, I think, like 30 or 40% off. So if you wait just a little bit, this stuff's going to be 50% off. 
And then you can stack coupons with the Joann's app. So if you don't have the Joann's app, get it so you can stack some coupon codes and get all of these items at, a, at an even more discounted price if you are thinking about purchasing anything. I'm a sucker for a cauldron. I always have been and I always will be. I think this 12 inch black ceramic cauldron is really, really cute. It's expensive. Why is it $60 originally? Joann's. Get it together, girl. Anyways, love me a cauldron. I think it's really cute. I love, I love this little LED crescent moon cutout. I think that is so cute. This is cute for spring. Honestly, if you buy this now and use it for next spring or even now because it's still spring, summer-ish, that's so cute. Cute spring or ween, summer ween item. Joann's killed it with this one. And $18 now, not bad, but again, you could get it a little cheaper than that. They have a little purple glass container. Um, I don't love it, but it is cute. I like the different shapes of these containers. I like that they're giving us different heights, different dimensions, different textures. Very cute. I can appreciate it. And here we have a black ceramic moon phase coffin container. If it was matte without the moon phases on it, I would love it. This is cute though. I, I do appreciate it. I remember the candle. I'm like pointing at my laptop screen thinking you guys can see me, but you cannot. I do remember seeing these moon phase taper candle, taper, taper candle holders last year. So I didn't love them then. I don't love them now, but it, you know, they're okay. Moving on. Glass potion bottle. I do love it. I am not a silver gal. I like gold. So if you're also like me and you love this black glass potion bottle, you can always rub and buff the little snake on there to be gold. And then I think that would be really, really cute to add on some bookshelves. Again, on the little coffee table. Endless styling opportunities, honestly. LED purple glass pumpkin. Not my thing. We have seen this palm a million and five times. So if you don't have one by now, you could always get one if you want. And this, Joann's has upgraded the Crescent Moon candle holder to now have some cutouts with LEDs. That would also be really cute. I know I just said it. Um, if you have like a little girl's room or a kid's room or even your room, honestly, um, that's like a more celestial moon themed, very, you know, tarot-y, witchy. This would be a really cute nightlight, I think. I don't know how luminescent it is. I don't know how much light it gives off, but that's really cute. So Joann's did a really, they did good with that one. I appreciate it. Um, the skeleton in the black frame is not my favorite. Oh. A Halloween moon coffin pillar candle holder. I like this and it looks like you can hang it on the wall. Okay, I do like that. I think if, and no one asked me for my opinion, but I'm gonna give it anyway. I think if you took this and you maybe colored something, if you gave the moons a different color than just the black, or you could do it the opposite, leave the moons black and paint the coffin shape around it, maybe add some details, add some, what am I thinking? You could, you could beef this up and make it more your personal style, your personal Halloween decor, your personal everyday decor. You can work with this. This is a really good solid base. And then you could put a nice pillar candle with like some drapey moss or like some fabric, something. You that This is a really good base. It's got good bones to personalize it, do a little DIY. Really, really cute. All right, moving on. We have a silver disco figural moon pillow. Okay, this is a pillow. Let's make this one bigger, shall we? Ooh, $30. Okay. Um, what's the back look like? Um, I'm not a disco person. I don't I don't love the disco thing. Oh lord, the pop-ups. Go go on. Go away. I never got into the disco trend, the disco ball trend, so I don't like this. Alrighty, the last two items, we have a seven inch Halloween astrology skull. 
it's not groundbreaking, but it's Halloween. And then a LED purple glass orb. I don't like that. Oh, we have, oh, we have more. We have more. Okay, hold on. I got ahead of my britches here. Ooh, okay. A purple taper glass candle holder. That's expensive for $14.99. But see, I don't know. This is where like my thrifty brain, I'm like, if you see this at Joann's for let's just say $10 if you use a coupon, you can go to Goodwill and find any old candlestick holder. And if you want it purple, just spray paint it whatever purple color you want. It's not going to have that iridescent or like sheer look like the clear glass, like the clear purple glass, but it's going to be purple. Anyways, that's just how my brain thinks sometimes when I'm looking at these things. But if you love it, by all means, Joanne has got you covered. They're thinking about you. More disco ball stuff. 22-inch mirror. This was originally $70. Joanne's girl, what are you doing? That's expensive. <laughs> I do remember the little moon phase of black cauldron from last year. Ooh, another little moth. It's like it's an ornament or maybe just like a wall hanging. That's cute for like, oh, if you have like a spooky garden or something, that's cute. Okay. Thought I just had a thought in my brain. The purple glass potion bottle, I don't like because it's purple. I'm just not a purple fan. Okay, the moon shelf is cute. Again, super cute. God, these pop-ups are just insanity. If you have like some crystals or something, that's really, really pretty to display your crystals or any just little trinkets we love. And we have a solid uh, Halloween figural moon mirror for $35. Oh, okay. If you're really into moons, this line is for you. Everything is very, what's the word I'm looking for? Celestial. It's very surrounded by moons. Moon, the moon shape, the crescent moon shape is its core, decor theme. So this is the line for you. We have another little crescent moon phase hanging thing with a little tassel. We have an LED holographic glass skull. How do I say this? I'm really picky when it comes to the shape and the style of a skull. This one just looks, it, I don't like it. It looks funny. And I don't like light up decor, but this is definitely right up somebody's alley. So I'm not trying to like, don't take my personal, like, I don't like something as like, you shouldn't like it. If you like it, go get it. If you really want it, go get it. Like, who cares what I'm saying? Like, I would never buy this. But if you want to buy it, by all means, please enjoy it. This is not something I would buy, nor is this skelly couple. But, oh, now this, this one right here. I love this. Oh, oh, it lights up red. Okay, see, that Joanne's, we're doing something really nice here. I love this. This is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm looking at this piece like, what would I change? How would I make it like my own? And the base is good. I love the LED red light. I think that's really, really nice. Such like a really nice touch. Just a couple of like trailing vines or like some sort of creepy crawly looking foilage coming out of this would be so nice. I love this. This is like, I would consider purchasing this. This is really, really nice. Good job, Joanne's. I love it. Ooh, when you go back, it throws you all off. Okay. Where was I? See, why did it? Okay. Halloween framed celestial wood wall art. I actually do like that. I, I do like this. This would be a cool tattoo. I do like that. The pumpkin, I feel like we've seen before. Candlestick holder, we've seen before. Seen this before. Okay. 
And why are we seeing the taper candle? That must be a different height. Okay, so your purple taper your purple taper candle holder comes in two different sizes. Good. This LED black metal lantern, I do like it. I don't know how much I love these geometrical things for Halloween. We've seen them a couple times before, like with the terrariums and stuff like that. I, I don't know if I love it personally for Halloween, um, but a simple black lantern, like you cannot go wrong and you can definitely doctor it up to make it more Halloween and more your style. So it's got a good base again. An 18 inch wire moon phases by place and time. I would love to see someone take this and make an insane wreath out of it. I know someone can do it. I don't think I could do it, not what I see in my head, but I know someone could take this and make it absolutely fabulous. So if you're really crafty and into making really special Halloween pieces, I think this would be amazing. An amazing, amazing piece for someone like that. Disco ball. I'm not even going to give it any thought. Ooh, a tapestry. Now, I like this. Let's look at it a little bit closer. 31 and a half. Wow, okay, it's big. Okay, for $18, that's really nice. I do like that, and this is a really good – I'm going to say this about most of the pieces in this line for Halloween – these are really good all year round pieces, which I know that's what a lot of people that are Halloween decor hunting, like they specifically wait, myself included, until this time of year to find all year round pieces. Stuff like this is absolutely perfect and it's big. It's large. It's almost three feet long. Okay. Amazing. That's really nice. Really, really nice. I do enjoy that piece. Okay. Let's see how it switches everything up on me again. Where did we? Oh, okay, cool. This little, this little mirror mobile hanging thing. Okay. I, I don't like this. I think most of us can be in agreement here where we don't like decor that has sayings on it. Stop in for a spell. To each his own. But I think most of us are in agreement here. Okay. LED fortune hand wood sign. I like how they added the nails. That's a good touch because Joanne's knows us spooky gals mostly always have our nails on. Anyways, okay, snake with the skull. We saw that last year. I believe we saw this black snake as well. The pumpkin with the moon phase cutout is just a different size. Oh, LED wire evil eye. I enjoy that. I don't think I would purchase it personally for my home, but I do like the evil eye in the Halloween decor. I do like it. This shaggy pumpkin, please get it away from me. I feel like that is like a, what is that called? When you don't like certain textures, like that just looks like I don't want it to touch my skin. That's what that looks like to me. I just, I'm getting like itchy thinking about it. I don't like it. Okay, moving on. 16 inch LED black iron. Okay, so that's just another. I like this lantern bigger. I like this lantern uh, as a bigger piece. But something on it, again, it's like it's the geometric. Like, I just don't know. I don't know. It's not selling it for me. It's nice. Good all year round piece. I do like this for summer ween. I will say that. If you want to do like a little darker decor porch area for summer ween. These are good pieces. You have the two different sizes. You can stack them next to each other, however you want to do it. That works. Sequin pillow. That just looks so uncomfortable. That looks so uncomfortable. I don't want to sit on that. Okay. We have three more pieces. Y'all, what is this? The moon made me do it. Joanne's. The moon does make me do some crazy things, but I'm never going to have a decor piece in my home that says it made me do things. I know most of y'all can, you, you know what I'm saying, but like, that's just no. The shaggy pumpkin, no. Okay, an evil eyed mirror. 
it's not bad. I don't love it. There's there's something I'm gonna show, gonna show y'all here. Hold on, this this little bit right here, how it's like it's not. It makes it look like, like there's a big gap in between the two right here. I don't like that. That's driving me wild. I can't stop staring at the weird gap. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up today's video. We just sat down and went through 63 new items from Joanne's Eclipse Decor Collection that came out in May. In May. Like, are you kidding me? I'm so excited. This has gotten me so pumped to get the season started. We're only probably a couple of weeks away from some other sneak peeks coming into stores, which is nuts. Like, literally, my soul is so happy right now. I just sat down and talked about Halloween for 25 minutes. It does it get any better? Literally, no. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're excited for more Halloween content to come, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do have a thrifting for Halloween video coming out very, very soon where I hope to do just a little DIY and some styling at the end. So if you're excited for that, subscribe so you do not miss it. Happy, happy Halloween decor hunting season because I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It has officially begun. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.